Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode number 8. Okay, the previous episode, um, we went to the pool, Komi and her friends. Um, a few other people also joined us, uh, who Agari, uh, not Agari, sorry, who Yamai brought in. And we kind of got acquainted with them a little bit, you know, like the, the night, lay, uh, the night uh, girl, then there's two other guys, the ninja guy, and then there's, I think there was another girl, two girls and three boys, I think. I can't remember, but yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, it was two girls and three boys. So that's what happened, and we kind of got acquainted with them. But I'm guessing they will be like acquaintance, not friends, friends, but acquaintance, something like that. And um, yeah, but uh, we had like a good time at the pool. Komi, uh, you know, uh, like, uh, what do you call them? Komi was kind of shy at the beginning and she was kind of sitting down, but you know, Tadano kind of went and, uh, oh, Komi tripped, I, I forgot about that. Komi tripped and she thought like, yeah, she's going to, you know, worsen the mood. That's why she was like, you guys go, like, I'll sit here. Tadano, <laughs> gentleman, she come, he comes back and like, you know, kind of spends time with her. And then we get like a little, you know, uh, yeah, uh, what's her name? Najimi, Najimi uh, brings uh, those, uh, water uh, water pistols or whatever you call them water guns and we had a little you know a little fun with that and yeah that was a good good portion good little outing that she had with her friends and uh, yeah and then like the small little portions came out after that which was the first uh, one was her spending time with her dad going like you know the, to the library like having a little uh, shaved ice and all that stuff and uh, then in the library you know like there was this little kid and she was kind of like you know like try trying to interact with the, uh, the baby and yeah all that stuff Tadano was there and then in the uh, playground she kind of was swinging around and like you know having fun on her own <laughs> Tadano was again over there but unfortunately Tadano forgot to um, return the book that she was supposed to be returning to in the library but yeah like that was that so <laughs> that was a good episode let's see what this episode brings what more like you know whether we get some new friends or not what happens so yeah so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number eight of komi can't communicate i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go Obon, okay. Oh, where are they going? Thirty-six. Oh damn, I'm going to like talk about this later on, like an experience. Oh, this is a brother. <laughs> She's the only one talking. <laughs> Look at Komi. Yep. Understandable. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the brother is also kind of quiet. Oh damn, Komi's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa! What the? Damn! <laughs> okay. So yeah, when they were talking about the uh, heat, summer heat, you know, this, this like 36 degree. <laughs> it's funny thing, like in my country, I think it's it's very hot in the summer and i think it it reaches like i think there was a time when it was so hot that it reached 42 degrees like i think in, it was previous year or a year before that something like in 2018 or 19 i can't remember it was immensely hot like 42 degrees like s centigrade like celsius like damn like <laughs> like that's like that's intense 
and yeah it's it's, it's not a good time like 42 degrees centig uh, celsius is just too hot and i don't know how i spent that uh, year like i was constantly sweating and everything yeah i think it was 2018 i never i didn't start youtube at that time it was so hot <laughs> Japan in itself is like a, a cold con like you know cold throughout kind of so I guess 36 is quite a lot for them Like here in my country, we don't even even have any snow or anything like you know Like unless and until you go to the higher portions the ele elevated uh, parts of uh, okay. Anyways, let's go. Oh This is a grandma <laughs> Komi Yuiko. Oh she talks okay Um, so is this aunt? Oh, the sister? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my god. So, <laughs> so Dayoshi Masayoshi. Wow. So Dayoshi, na okay. Eh? <laughs> Okay, all the ladies are very vocal, I can see. Akira. So one thing, maybe Komi will also become vocal when she, like, you know, after she becomes an adult. Up, oh. up, oh. Inst instant transmission. <laughs> uh. Oh damn, she's she's too afraid. <laughs> what what? <laughs> what no no th th that's not. <laughs> oh boy. Emotionally close. <laughs> All right, that's that's funny. Calling her. Damn. What the? Well, at least she talks. That's a good thing. Wait. Okay, she's a bit too emotional. Well, um. <laughs> oh my god oh wow what type of a... it's not a kid's game what is this <laughs> okay whoa harsh lecture from grandma Yeah. Okay, the grandma is uh, quite in a different sense. She's very uh Okay. Okay. Um Yes, quite a few. <laughs> yeah, that's what she was concerned about, you know, because she's she's usually quiet. Just she's thinking like, yeah, is is are there any friends? Did she make any? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that, 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 that. Oh wow, they were listening to the okay. 
There we go. Oh, there you go. Summer festival. I, I was saying, saying that, yeah, when we'll get this. There we have it. <coughs> Damn, Najim is like, yeah, this is happening. Come. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I'm guessing Komi will wear. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, yes. Well, obviously, she's coming. What? Oh. I'm get. Let Let me see. Is anyone else coming? Is Yamai here? I'm. What the? What the... Okay. Damn. She, she has an army with her. <laughs> oh, she's talking. Face to face. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, I think she's, she's trying to say that you, you also look good or something like that <laughs> okay oh my god I'm, I'm guessing Yama is somewhere stalking her or something I wonder why Ayagari didn't come <laughs> no. <laughs> well. Mm. Wait, he's so nervous. He's. Oh, <laughs> She's like, oh, how, how let, let me, yeah, she, she also wants to try. Oh no, where did she come from? <coughs> okay, Komi will be like, like a machine gun. Okay, there you go. Oh, damn. Makeru, try something else, not that teddy bear. Oh, whoa. You're disqualified. <laughs> uh, the candy cutting thing, yeah. Damn. She... What? Wait. Wait, what happened to her? Why is she nervous? Oh, she's not nervous. She just. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm, I'm sure Komi. Uh... Okay, well. Oh wow, she's not even looking at it. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to say something from the beginning, like, 
At the beginning, I thought maybe she was trying to say that, yeah, you look good or something, but maybe not. Yes. Is she trying to say, are you having fun? Oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, she's trying to say, there you go. Okay, I, I was correct. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is the first time she actually talks with him face to face, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Did Tadano malfunction or something? He was like... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here we go. I was wondering where she was. Oh my god. <laughs> Thousand line lottery. Oh, this thing. Okay. I didn't know what it was called, but I knew. She loves these type of, yeah, as, as Talon said, gambling. Damn, she, um, Najimi would love gacha games. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Well, they tricked you. <laughs> Is this a trick? <laughs> that one is too good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think they probably... Uh, okay. Damn. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this, a JoJo episode? <laughs> oh my god, the references in this episode. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, Naka Naka. <laughs> Damn, high level summoning technique. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the fishes were like, you know what? Yeah, I'm not associating with this girl. <laughs> what? Okay, you know what? I think I, I think this is a bit <laughs> bit it off. <laughs> oh damn, the uh, those those people are also. What is that? Oh, she got distracted. Oops. <laughs> well, How did he, how did he go behind her? Wasn't in front of her? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, she can write like this.
So I had a lot of fun when we were alone. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, enough. <laughs> Am I? Calm down. Alright, summer vacation is over. Alright. Go back to school. No wait, where where is this? Is this Sadhana's house? Oh no, okay. It, it is Sadhana's house, okay. <laughs> Oh my god! All right. Where is um Agari? Not even seen her for. Itomi Tadano. Damn. <laughs> like a year. <laughs> Jan. Yeah, def. Yeah, you really are meddling. Oh my god. No. <laughs> well, the power of friendship. The strongest thing in. <laughs> <laughs> in anime. What? Oh, homework? Homework, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's why she called all of them here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Tadan also did. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to even say. She really is looking at her. Yep. Okay. Oh my god, Yamai! <laughs> oh yeah. Did, did this like dig a hole or something? <laughs> Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's like, you know, she, she never kind of interacted with anyone. Mm. There you go. Like all the time she probably wanted to go back to school as soon as possible, you know, to like, because there are people there and she wants to interact with people, but this time she doesn't want it to end because this is so good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she 
she she wants it not to end for different yeah different reason altogether all right all right that's the end wow all right so from the next episode we're going back to school <laughs> yeah so okay the, this episode um did we get any friends no no not friends yeah you can call like not the cousin you can call her a friend i guess like she's family like okay family and friends yeah it's the same mm. yeah you can kind of consider her as a friend because uh, before this she never kind of interacted with komi so this is probably the first time she interacted with komi and in that manner you can probably say that yeah she also became her friend I doubt they're going to put her in the, uh, the ending scene, you know, where they put all the friends in the classroom. I doubt they're going to put her in it. I'm talking about the cousin. Because she's not a part of this. I don't know. Let's see. I doubt they're going to put her. <coughs> oh, we probably have, we'll get a, a fireworks, you know, um, like, um, yeah, we're probably going to get a fireworks episode. No, I don't, I don't think she was in here. Yeah, she's a family. She's like, okay, that's the end. <coughs> All right, another great episode. Oh boy. Um, like, I, I really love Slice of Life. <coughs> and I've seen like people like, you know, like there's quite a few people who really do not like Slice of Life because of you know, the normal everyday thing that they show and the uh you know like the way they kind of stretch everything out <laughs> but i kind of enjoy it because you know like it's like a kind of like a what do you call it a little um what can i say like it's it 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 it's very calming and it kind of gives you a little break from all those like you know all the shonen like you know fighting and everything it kind of gives you a little break and it, it kind of I, I really like slice of life you know a good slice of life obviously and <clears throat> komi komi can't communicate is definitely one of those and this is really the start i don't even know how many uh, manga chapters they're adapting in one episode but i think the manga is a lot ahead i think it it's like in 250 or something chapters or something like that like it's a lot so I'm guessing we're probably going to get a few episodes in succession, like one after the other, hopefully. And this is very popular in anime, like, you know, as well after it got adapted, it, it's also very popular. So I'm sure they'll make <clears throat> future epi uh, future seasons, definitely. So hopefully this will continue for quite a long while because you know, like some people might say like, ah, like uh, they, they, they're dragging stuff and everything. But you know what? Like I really like the whole thing. Like you know, if if the drag a story which is as good as this, I wouldn't mind that. You know, I wouldn't mind that. Like for a good story, you can drag it. <laughs> like I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, okay. So here in this episode, <clears throat> at, the, at the beginning we go to. <coughs> Uh, with the family to the cemetery uh, to pay respects to I think the who did the pay respect to grandma or just a sec let me check did they show who they were paying respects to I don't think so Yeah, I think they did not show. Yeah, that was just it. They, they were just showing that they were praying, and that was just it. Anyways, um, probably some like you know some family members, not family member, but yeah, grandfather or grandmother, who knows? But anyways, <clears throat> Gomi was kind of you know like a little praying there for quite a while. I'm sure she was kind of like you know talking with in her mind about how the experience that she had and everything, and thanking it, thanking everyone on all that stuff. So yeah, that was like a little sweet little section and then we go to the family house, uh, to the grandma, mm, Komi's grandmother, Komi Yuiko. Okay, um, grandma, she is her paternal grandma, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, like from the father's side. No, wait, uh, Komi Yuiko. 
from the father's side yeah i think it's from the father's side okay she is from the father's side um all right so <clears throat> yeah we, we, we saw the brother as well okay yeah she's from the father's side um and then uh we saw the aunt that is uh okay and the uncle uncle sadayoshi and the komi's dad's name is masayoshi sadayoshi masayoshi <laughs> And it's funny, like, then the next, uh, you know, panel, they kind of say that they get along, which I think kind of translates Nakayoshi. Sadayoshi, Masayoshi, Nakayoshi. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, Nakayoshi, they also say that. Okay. Mm. Now, here's the thing. Um, I'm guessing, like, you know, all probably from the father's side, everyone is kind of quiet like this. Uh, for example, the father is quiet. Uh, the the brother the father's brother is also quiet and um who's um the 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 cousin she's also kind of quiet but she probably got some uh like you know a thing from her her mom as well her mom is quite um vocal and excitable so <laughs> so yeah like all the ladies are very much you know like very vocal and everything i kind of saw that so as i was saying you know like when i was reacting maybe I don't know, Kobe in the future, uh, Komi in the future will also become vocal, just like her mom. <laughs> but she needs to, you know, like, um, get past the, uh, the communication disorder that she has. Which I'm sure she will eventually, because, you know, like, everyone's there, Komi, uh, like, Tadano, Najimi, they're there with her. So, yeah, I'm sure eventually she'll be able to get past that. But, okay, um, the cousin's name is, what was her name? Um... Ah, uh, there's something with a Akira. Okay, here we go, Akira. So she, I'm, I'm guessing she always wanted to talk with Komi, but all the time she was afraid of her. <laughs> but yeah, like Komi kind of, you know, tickled her a little bit, <laughs> which <laughs> made them a lot closer. And yeah, they they had a little um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Like a little game. Uh, she was playing the board game and everything. And yeah, that was kind of nice. She made. A friend technically i guess you know like made friends with her cousin and yeah that's good uh and then we get, go to the grandma where the grandma asks her about how everything is going at school and everything all the stuff now here's the thing i'm sure like you know the grandma was kind of concerned about komi because she's quiet and since this is like you know her grandma from her father's side um and since her father is also quiet like this I'm sure probably in the past, um, her father also probably was a little bit, what can I say, like, um, had problems with communication. Like we see, he, he still has kind of problem communicating. He talks sometimes, but not that much. So I'm guessing in the past as well, uh, just like Komi, maybe the father also faced uh, problems like this in school, probably wasn't able to make proper friends and stuff, something. I don't know, I'm just like, you know, guessing everything. So I'm, I'm guessing like, you know, seeing stuff like that, the grandma was quite concerned about Komi and thinking like, oh, is she, is she kind of facing the same thing that my son faced? Is she okay in her school? Yes, I'm sure she was concerned about that. And that's why she was asking her like, did you make friends? And seeing that Komi was, you know, nodding with such a happy smile, she was like, okay, like everything is well and good. I don't need to be concerned. So yeah, that was a nice little part section. And I don't know what, um, <laughs> like, you know, before Komi comes, we see the dad kind of going outside and the dad was very much, um, I don't know, her, his face was very uncomfortable and and they said, like, looks like he got a harsh lecture from grandma. I don't know what lecture he got and why he got, but, you know, probably something. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe, maybe the grandma said something like, oh, you're still like this. Why don't you talk? Why don't you communicate? Or something like that, maybe she said, or something else. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, probably he got lectured a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, okay, that was that. And... Then we go to the um, festival, the summer festival, which I was kind of saying that when we'll get that because summer festival is like a staple for summer vacation in anime. 
So yeah, we go to the summer festival, Yukata and everything. We are in like Komiri looked really nice. Uh, so did Tadano and like you know Tadano was like at the beginning Tadano complimented her and Komi also probably wanted to compliment him back but since he did not she did not have her uh, the sketch thing that she writes on the book uh, what, what is that even I think it is something like that um yeah since he did not have that he wasn't able to say anything and uh like you know communicate with him and she, she was just ta 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 <laughs> trying to say that Tadano kun you look good or something and uh, yeah but that was all okay the you know they go into the festival they were all like you know having fun i wonder why agari did not come who knows like i don't know like he, she didn't even come in the next part but anyways mm. Yeah, and then uh, there, there were those like, you know, little games that we have in festivals, the shooting game where obviously Makedu kind of lost again, but she <laughs> she she kind of shot it from ploy point blank range and she was like, yeah, that's a tie. It goes away. Well, as long as she's happy with it. <laughs> and then the candy cutting game and all that, you know, and. Okay, during the candy cutting game, she was able to actually say that Tadano, you look good. And I think this is probably the, f this, yeah, this is the first time, isn't it? That she actually talks with him face to face. Like we've seen her talking in phone calls, but not like this. But that's like a huge improvement. And uh, yeah, that was good. And then like, as always, Agari, um, um, Yamai came in <coughs> with her, you know, group of friends and all that. And yeah, and then like, then we go to the, um, the the lottery thing the the one where you pull the string and you get something now i was kind of surprised to see that they really like usually in these type of like you know <laughs> games um whatever like you know expensive stuff out there they don't connect it with anything you know like they sh make it seem as if they have connected one one of the rows but they do not i was kind of surprised to see that they really did connect it like the grandma like she was kind of like you know like <laughs> like intensely saying that oh i've been doing this for so long i know what it is like all according to keikaku and all that stuff she was doing and <laughs> but like it's nice to see that she actually did connect it with something because i doubt they do that in actual games you know like in actual these type of festivals um they i, I don't they, i don't think they do it like they probably kind of make it seem as if they have connected it with one of the ropes but they don't it's probably connected to something else completely so yeah it was nice to see that she actually did connect it to one of the ropes <laughs> but yeah komi just like as always kind of tugs the rope and yeah she gets it what was that ps5 or whatever what was it called anyway something like that <laughs> but yeah and Okay, and then we also meet uh, Nakanaka here. Like, I think we meet all the friends over here except Agari. Did she go? Maybe she went to the vacation or something. Probably something like that. That's why she was not here. Uh, like, all the characters came here. So, yeah, anyways, um, Nakanaka also came and she was like, oh, my, you <laughs> know, uh, what? Like, ghostly servants of mine make the fish gather or whatever. She was <laughs> all the tuny stuff. Uh, unfortunately the fish got scared and ran away but yeah and yamai as always up to her no good you know her shenanigans that she pulls uh bringing out a sausage and was like yeah my god <laughs> just chill <laughs> okay and uh, yeah that was that that was the end i think yeah and they were like we had fun so komi kind of wrote that uh, we had like you know I had fun when we were alone too, but she was too embarrassed, and, you know, rubbed it off. So yeah, that was nice. That was cute. And then the next part we go to Tadano's house to get our homework done. And as soon as I heard that uh, the summer vacations is going to be over, I I at that time I kind of realized that yeah, this must be something about the homework because this is Najimi we're talking about. She brought all of them here so that she can copy. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sure Najimi kind of, you know, made this, uh, you know, tr uh, plan of coming here. 
I'm sure she suddenly called Tadano Komi and she was like, Tadano, we'll be there today at the, I don't know, 1 p.m. or something. Like, be ready. And I'm sure she kind of cut that call over there without even listening to Tadano and her and his, <laughs> what his input is on this. Uh, and she, I'm sure she called Komi after that and she was like, Komi, we're going to Tadano's house at 1 p.m. Be there. And, you know, she cut the call, all that stuff she did. And I, I don't know if she, yeah, she did not call uh, Agari, but what, like, you know, you, you don't need to call, uh, not, uh, sorry, not Agari, Yamai. I don't think she, she called Yamai, but you don't actually need to call Yamai because she's always lurking around here and there, stalking. So yeah, she, she knew that everything, like, you know, something was happening and she, she was there. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, you know, like we meet uh, the sister officially this time and she was very polite and everything <laughs> and uh, yeah and when they were like you know like talking and everyone was like having fun and doing the homework and stuff and they were talking about the past experiences in the pool and whatever Omicron kind of got emotional and it, it makes sense because she never like you know she never actually had this much fun before because everyone kind of like, you know gave her the like, you know put her in the pedestal of a goddess all the time and never really interacted with her which made her feel lonely and she got a misunderstanding she thought that yeah nobody likes me so this is the first time that she's actually experiencing all of this and as she said like you know all the time i'm sure all the time she probably felt that oh i uh, like you know i want uh, summer vacation to end because she was probably like you know all bored and everything in her house and didn't have much fun just laying around and she wanted you know school to resume because at least if school resumes she can go outside and you know kind of have a little bit of interaction with people however way it is so yeah like that's why i'm sure all this time she never like you know wanted summer vacation to like, you know last long she always wanted to go back to school but this time she you know like even in summer vacation she's having so much fun she's like you know this is the first time I wanted summer vacation to not end. And which shows that, yeah, during her summer vacation, which is, you know, like, which is supposed to be a good time for, like, you know, uh, students to have fun and everything. This is the first time she actually had fun in summer vacation and she was wants it not to end. Like, it's actually kind of weird, uh, like, you know, for, like, you know, like, there must be something... Uh, what can I say? Like, unless and until someone is lonely, you know, and don't have much friends and everything, like, you know, people probably wouldn't say something like, I want summer vacation to end because summer vacation all of the time, summer vacation and winter vacation, whatever, you know, is all the time. It's kind of a, a, like, you know, like a time where people want it as soon as possible and they want it to last long because it's like you know no school you can have fun and everything so someone actually wanting it to end quickly kind of shows us how you know like that person is lonely or doesn't have much things like you know to do and uh, like you know felt uh, what can i say like all alone in her house in in his or her house so this is the normal thing you know this thing that yeah i don't want summer vacation to end not the opposite so it's nice to see that Komi is actually having fun and this time she actually wants summer vacation not to end, which is the normal thing. Like we don't want summer vacation to end quickly. We want it to last long. And Komi was able to actually understand that this time because yeah, this time she has friends. But anyways, it's kind of nice to see that. And it's nice to see that actually, like, I, like, you know, like Tadano is the one who actually made this possible if you think about it like that because <clears throat> i'm sure if tadano did not take initiative and say something like oh like you know you know what i'll help you make friends she probably wouldn't be able to come this far because like tadano is the one who actually brought najimi in and bringing najimi in kind of broadened their horizons and they were able to like you know like bring in more friends like seeing Najimi interact with all of them, a few people also saw and they also maybe thought that, you know what, you know, yeah, like Najimi is interacting with her. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe we should also go and talk with her, you know, not just look at her from the uh, distance, but just go and interact with her. 
like Tadano was the one who kind of started this and Najimi was the one who I'm guessing who kind of uh, brought a lot of people in because of her popularity and that was good you know like so Tadano is the actual one who started everything because if Tadano did not talk to Komi and if they were probably if they were like in some other class you know like separated or something this wouldn't have happened Komi would have like spent her time all alone because I because Najimi probably would not go and try to make friends with her because she actually tried to do that before and she was kind of scared <laughs> so yeah like so seeing everything you know uh, like this you can say that Tadano is the one who actually helped her the most and helped start this thing and as like now that it has started now that she has started walking she'll be able to pick up her pace alone and she'll be able to go uh, you know the rest of the uh, path but she wanted that push you know she needed that push and Tadano was the one to provide that to her and yeah that that was it so yeah that was this episode this was my reaction to Komi can't communicate episode number eight so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so that's it and uh, i'll see you guys next week with another episode of Komi can't communicate until then goodbye and have a nice day